When the work on the farm is done, we take time for fun. There's a big barn concert coming soon. First, let's listen for something new. For listening is giving, listening is giving. To listen is to give. Listening is giving, listening is giving. To listen is to give. And when you listen with your eyes, you see. When you listen with your ears, you hear. When you listen with your body, you dance. When you listen with your heart, you love. Listening is giving, listening is giving. To listen is to give. Hi friends, how do you feel today? I feel glad to be together on this fall day in the barn studio. I feel comfortable here. I feel excited to dance. I feel confident to sing. Me, 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 me. And I feel brave to learn new things. Do you like to learn new things? something new for you to see. Well, maybe it's new and maybe it's not. Let's see what there is to see in the satchel. This is an apple. Do you see its colorful skin? Do you see the little stem that connected this apple to its tree? If I hold it very close, could you listen with your nose and smell the apple? This apple is very special to me, for I picked it from a tree my grandmother planted many years ago, when I was just a little, little kiddo. And now it's a big, big tree, just like you'll be big one day. This is the very first apple I picked this fall. Do you know that it took the whole summer for this apple to grow? And do you know way back in the spring, there were no apples on the tree at all? There were little flowers called apple blossoms. I have one right here for you to see in my heart pocket. They're beautiful. Now this is an artificial flower. It's made out of fabric. Real apple blossoms, they bloom on the trees and then they fall to the ground very soon after and turn back into the soil so new things can grow. You know, I've always wondered how apple blossoms turn into apples. I wish I knew. I wish I have another new something for you to see. And it's a big something. What do you think's underneath? Well, I will show you. Will you count with me? One, two, three. Let's see what there is to see. It's a wishing well. I found this wishing well in a hidden corner of the farm. It had crumbled to pieces, so I brought it piece by piece to the barn studio and put it back together. And today is the day that we get to put in the final piece. Will you help me pick the piece that fits the best? Let's try this one first. Does that one fit? Hmm, not quite. How about this one? Do you think this will fit? Okay. Well, before we put it in, let's sing a song to our wishing well. We could sing something like, Me, 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 me. Well, well, wishing well. Here we are together again. Well, well, wishing well. Let's take the time to wish, my friends. <gasps> oh my, wishing well has a voice all its own. And may I say wishing well, it's a very beautiful voice. Thank you, wishing well. Wishing well says I have a beautiful voice too. Wishing well, meet my friends. Friends, 
This is wishing well. There, we're all new friends now. Wishing well, could we make a wish to learn something new? We can? Okay. We wish to learn how apple blossoms turn into apples. Okay. Wishing Well says all we have to do is put the apple blossom and the apple in Wishing Well's bucket. So we'll put in the apple blossom and the apple. Hmm, a wishing song. I don't know if we know a wishing song. We can make up a new wishing song. We could sing something like, Me, 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 me. We wish, we wish, we wish, we wish, we wish. We wish, we wish, we wish, we wish, we wish. Oh. <laughs> a honeybee. I thought this was a real honeybee. I get nervous about honeybees sometimes. But this is just a picture of a honeybee. I suppose I could be brave with just a picture. And it really is a beautiful honeybee. But what do honeybees have to do with apple blossoms turning into apples? Is this a clue wishing well? It is a clue. And that means this must be an adventure to learn something new. If Oh, someone's knocking at the door. Let's go see who it is. Come on in. Hi, Mr. Chris. Cat. How do you feel today? I am so excited about our barn concert later. That's right. We have a barn concert later today, and Cat is our special guest musician. Friends, I'd like you to meet Cat. Cat, these are my friends. Hi, everybody. Oh, and Cat, this is Wishing Well. And wishing well, meet Cat. Hi, wishing well. Mr. Chris, what's that in your hand? Oh, this is a honeybee. We wish to wishing well to learn how apple blossoms turn into apples. And wishing well gave us a clue. We think that honeybees help, but we don't know how. Do you? Hmm. I don't know how honeybees help. But I do know that if you want to learn about apples, a good place to start would be an apple orchard. An apple orchard? Yeah, an apple orchard is a place with many apple trees. Mm -hmm. And on every apple tree are many apples. Let's sing about it. That's a great idea. Friends, we could sing in the listening corner. Let's go. It all starts with one apple. One apple on an apple tree is one of many, for there are many apples on an apple tree. And one apple tree in an orchard is one of many, for there are many love to listen with my ears and hear your sounds. And now I feel a little more brave to go to the orchard, even if there are real honeybees there. Would you like to come to the orchard with us? I would love to, but I have to get to the barn stage 
or the barn concert. I could call my friend Nick and let him know that you're coming over, though. That would be great. Okay, we'll meet you at the barn stage after our big adventure to the orchard. I'll see you soon then, Mr. Chris. Bye, friends. See you soon, Cat. Okay, friends. Are you ready for our big adventure? All right, let's go. Folks at the front gate said I could find Nick at the Apple Room. Do you think this is the Apple Room here? Let's knock and see. Hello? Nick? Mr. Chris? Hi. Hey. <laughs> so good to meet yeah, you. Yeah, come on in. Thank you. The Apple Room. Wow. This is amazing. Do Apple you, room. Do you live here? <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean to say in the orchard. Yes, this is my home. The Apple room would be a lovely place to live. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Chris, I hear you have a question for me. We do. Uh, today, we made a wish on Wishing Well, our new friend with a voice all its own. We wished to Wishing Well to learn how apple blossoms turn into apples. And Wishing Well gave us a clue, and the clue is a honeybee. Now, we think that honeybees might be helpers in some way, but we don't know how, and that's what we want to ask you. Do you know how honeybees help apple blossoms turn to apples? Mm-hmm. Honeybees are pollinators. Pollinators. What, well, what's a pollinator? Well, pollinators are animals that help turn apple blossoms or flowers into fruit. Okay, and, but how, how, how does a honeybee uh, uh, turn the flowers? Into? Well, honeybees eat the pollen. They like the pollen in the flowers. So they go from flower to flower collecting the pollen. Huh? Apple trees need different varieties of flowers to have the pollen from the other variety. And the bees go from flower to flower and they bring the pollen from one flower to the next. And it cross pollinates the different, the different varieties and that's what that's what makes them turn, the flower turn into fruit. That's incredible. So honeybees are incredible helpers. And friends, did you hear? That's how apple blossoms turn into apples. The honeybees take the powdery pollen from flower to flower and they turn the flower to fruit. Thank you, Nick. We are so, so excited to learn something new and to make our wish come true. I wish I could say thank you to the honeybees. Do you, do you think honeybees could talk? <laughs> I don't know if that if they do talk or not. I wish uh, if I could talk to them, maybe maybe they would tell me. But I, can, I don't know how to talk. <laughs> Be talk. Do you think honeybees talk to each other? I bet they do. Yeah. Have you heard of a dance that they do? Absolutely, the waggle dance. The waggle dance. <laughs> That's right. It looks like an eight, right? So exactly. Um, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shoo. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Like that? <laughs> yes. We could do that together. We could go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shoo. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shoo. The waggle dance. And the way they waggle actually tells the other bees where flowers are. Is that exactly, right? exactly. Oh, it's so wonderful. Yeah, they tell them where the source of the, ho of the pollen is in the flowers. Yes. I'm so glad that we got to be here with you today and visit the orchard and learn something new. Thank you so much, Nick. You're welcome, Mr. Chris. Would it be okay if we walked around a little just to see what we could see? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a big orchard. You can go out anywhere, walk through the orchard. You know, you might actually run into a honeybee out there. A honeybee? Yeah. Um, right, sure. Uh, that, would be, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nick. We'll see you soon. Okay. Do you ever feel nervous to meet a new friend? I feel nervous right now to meet a honeybee. I know now that they're big, big helpers, but I still feel nervous. I'm excited, but I still feel nervous. It's interesting how you can feel more than one thing at the same time. Hey, could you help me feel brave? 
I'll look out for a honeybee. And if you see a honeybee, will you let me know? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Have a little pollinator, have a little honeybee. Do you like the taste of flowers early in the morning? Goodbye, little pollinator, goodbye, little honeybee. You didn't catch your name, but faster than you came. Quickly you flew, you got a job to do, don't you? And I know you do it well, I tell you what I can tell. Just by looking round, the colors are profoundly beautiful. Honeybee, where would I be without you? Hello, little pollinator. Hello, little honeybee. Do you like the taste of sunshine early in the morning? Goodbye, little pollinator. Goodbye, little honeybee. You didn't catch your name, but faster than you came. Quicker we flew. You got a job to do, don't you? And I know you do it well. I tell you what I can tell. Just by looking round, the colors are profoundly beautiful. Bye, bees. Bye. So nice to meet you. Bye. Oh, it's almost time for the barn concert. Let's go. Hi, Amaya. Oh, hello, Mr. Chris. What have you got there? These are apples from the orchard. We visited the apple orchard today and met Nick, the orchardist. He told us that honeybees are pollinators and they help turn apple blossoms into apples. I was nervous to meet a honeybee, but then I met three and we danced together. Wow, you were very brave. Thank you. The folks at the orchard said you wanted to sell apples at the farm stand. I certainly do, and I'm very excited that you and the apples are here. Will you help me fill my apple display? Sure. Uh, how can I help? Well, you start with one apple. One apple? One apple on an apple tree is one of many, for there are many apples on an apple tree. That's right. And one apple in a farm stand is one of many, because there are many fruits and veggies in a farm stand. <laughs> and it feels so good to be one of many. It feels so good to be one of many. And I can still be me, the only one like me, and be one of many. Let's pretend. Okay. Hmm, what should I buy today? Could I have three apples, please? Coming right around. One person in community is one of many, for there are many people in community. And it feels so good to be one of many. It feels so good to be one of many. And I can 
still be me, the only one like me, and be one of many. Thank you, Maya. Well, thank you. Oh, and have fun at the barn concert. Right. I bet the kiddos are getting excited. Let's go check in with some kiddos. Bye, Amaya. Bye, Mr. Chris. Hello. Hi. What can I get for you today? Three apples and three onions, please. Okay. Hi, Claire. Hi. Are you excited for the barn concert? Yes. Me too. Do you know that I met a honeybee today? You did? Not even just one honeybee, but three honeybees. Wow. But I was nervous. I was nervous to meet the honeybees. Why? Well, I was nervous because I was meeting a new friend. Do you ever feel nervous to meet a new friend? Yes. Yeah? What do you do when you're nervous? I usually just face my fears and go do what I'm nervous about. You just go do it? How do you find that brave inside of you? That when I'm nervous about something and that I try it, it doesn't seem very scary anymore. Yeah, so you just have to try. Mm -hmm. You just go and you try and then you feel better. Is there anything that makes you feel nervous? Some stuff, a lot of stuff will make me nervous. Like if a honeybee is on my hand and some, uh, or a wasp or stuff like that, I get a little bit nervous. What do you feel nervous about? This thing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you do when you're nervous to feel brave? I try to uh, calm myself down and say it's, everything is going to be okay. Do you ever take a big deep breath? Yes. You want to do that with me? We could go. That felt good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better too. Yeah. What color are honeybees? Black, yellow, and yellow. Do honeybees have wings? Yeah. What do the wings look like? They look like this. Is that how they fly? Yeah. Can we fly like honeybees? Yeah. <laughs> Be a honeybee. I flew out of my chair. Yes, you did. <laughs> What's your favorite way to eat an apple? Um, caramel covered. Caramel covered. Or do you say caramel or caramel? Caramel. You sometimes do? caramel, sometimes caramel. Depending on the day. Yeah. I'm so glad that we got to talk today. Yeah. Are you excited for the barn concert? Yes, very excited. Can't wait to dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to dance either. Can you do a high five? High five. Thank you, Raphael. You're welcome. Okay, are you ready? Yeah! Let's say one, one two, two, three. three. It's yeah! time for the barn concert. <laughs> <laughs> Two, oh, one, two, yeah. three, four. Jump, jump, jump up and down. Jump, jump, jump up and down. Jump, jump, jump up and down. Jump until you fall onto the ground. From the ground you can see your family. From the ground you can see your friends. From the ground you can see everyone you love. You don't have to get up, but you get up anyway. Friends, welcome to the Barn Concert. I'm so glad that you're all here, and today, this special day, will culminate, will come together with a special guest musician. I am honored to introduce to you Cat, everybody. Let's hear it for Cat. Hi, Kat. Hi, everybody. Hi, Chris. Well, we have a song to sing for you called Something Beautiful. I hear something beautiful. I hear something beautiful. 
To give it life to help it grow To give it life to help it grow I hear something beautiful I hear something beautiful Open up my heart, open up my mind To something beautiful Open up my heart, open up my mind To help it grow The future is built in the here and now. It takes a village to grow a great person. The fruits of great gardens grow when we nurture so. We all have a role to play. We've got to light the way. Take care of the kids today. Someday Everybody, let's hear our biggest thank you to Kat. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> A big round of applause, Mr. Chris and friends. What an amazing adventure. There were so many friends at the barn concert and so many apples at the orchard and we saw honeybees, real honeybees. I was nervous, but with your help, I felt brave to dance with new friends. And they were so nice. That's right, Wishing Well. Our wish came true. We learned that honeybees are pollinators and big, big helpers to help apple blossoms turn into apples. Your honeybee clue was so helpful, Wishing Well. Thank you. I suppose we could give this back to you now. Okay. Wishing Well says all we have to do is place it in the bucket. We'll place the clue in the bucket. We can sing our wishing song again. This time let's sing it a little different. <laughs> <laughs> 
we could sing something like, me, 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 me. We wished, we wished, we wished, we wished, we wished. We wished and then our wish came true. What's this wishing well? A memory, something to remember our great adventure by. I think I know just the place to keep this wishing well. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Deal. See you then. We'll hang our memory right by the door so that every time we come in and out, we can remember our great adventure together. And it won't be long until we see each other again. Well, not you wishing well. I love singing goodbye. Let me tell you why. For every time we sing goodbye, it means it won't be long until we sing hello again. So until then, friends, Goodbye, see you later. Goodbye, farewell. Goodbye, adios. Goodbye, au revoir. And may we always cherish what we've had. And then next time, we'll play again. See you next time, friends.